Hey, welcome! I'm going to show you how to set up the VFX trails on your animations. It is fairly simple and at times it is even fun. There's a lot of room for creativity here. So, well, let's start, right? Um, first, pick your animation. In my case, I pick this one. It has a lot of strength. I see that the slash is very clean, or it looks like it's, <laughs> like it's clean. Now pick uh, a trail. In my case, I want to pick the elemental because it's my favorite. And just leave it here. Now stop this animation. The trail is going to appear between two sockets, right? One should be on the base and another one should be on the tip. But maybe you just want one on the, one on the tip and one here because maybe you just want a small trail it is completely up to you. So to start, you can see I already have many here just for testing. So to start, again, let's click on Skeleton. Let's change the speed to 2. And you can see that the sword is on the right hand. So we need to find the right hand bone. It's here, hand R. We right click and we click on Add Socket. And you can see it here, it's new. Let's rename it F2. And just for the sake of this tutorial, right? You, you should follow conventions, but for the sake of this tutorial, test base, because I have many, right? You could put FX base, right? But since I already have it, test base. And we need, we need to move this socket to here, okay? So let's start, let's go. Move it a little bit over here, perhaps. This could be better, but it is up to you, right? For me, it's just a test to show you how it works. It is up to you to make it perfect or make it however you want. So we have the first one, it's in the base. We need one more now. So again, hand R, add socket, F2, and test tip. And just so we don't have to align it again, we can just go on the base, right click, copy this relative location, go on the tip, right click, copy it, perfect. Now we just need to move it to the very tip. Slowly we'll get, <laughs> we'll get there annoying sometimes. At least I'm not going in circles. Oh no. This should be the last one. There we go, finally. Again, not perfect, but up to you. Uh, screw it. Okay. So it's here. You have a base and a tip. The particle is going to appear between the between these two. So we go back on the animation. You can see that these sockets are already created here too. And we click on our particle, elemental main. Click on Browse. Move back on the animation. We right click here. Notify state and we need to add a trail. Let's, let's expand it a little bit by left clicking and, and holding, moving it. We need to paste it here, or you can just uh, drag it, however it is better for you. Maybe I do that. And over here you can see first socket, second socket. In the first socket we put a test base and test tip. In here just leave it on center. It is fine, although you can experiment if you want. I will highly recommend to experiment. So let's just press play. You can see that it is working. And personally, I'm not liking some things of this. And it is because of this. If you move it, 
I would like the trail to start whenever the animation starts getting some power. So maybe over here I want it to start. So we put it here. And then it ends around here. Yeah, this is this seems fine. But again, it is up to your um, to your creativity. It is up to however you want to, to have it. Because previously, yeah, this is looking better. This is looking better for me. Previously, it was looking nice too. So it is up to you. And you can also make it uh, wider if you, for example, oops, if you make these bones further apart from each other, it's going to be bigger, right? So it is completely up to you how you want it to look. Okay, so this is fine. Now we need to add one more track with this plus, and we are going to add a spark. The spark, for me at least, is usually on the middle. But if you want to put it on the tip or on the base, it is up to you. But I just put it on the middle. Uh, okay, it, it depends on every trailer, right? But uh, you get it. So, hunt R, add socket, and test spark. We paste again the location. And we're just going to drag it around here. Mm, a little bit further, perhaps. This is fine. Or I, I think it's fine. Back to the animation. Right click. And this time it is not a trail. It is a timed particle effect. It usually it is the same length as the other one. So... We need to click on our Spark on the Content Browser and then paste it. You don't need to open it, right? You just need to have it selected so you can use this. And then test Spark. Let's press play. Okay, it's working nice. Um, just one quick thing. It is that if you click here on Elemental Spark and you change the rotation offset, you can change the orientation of the of the sparks. For example, if you put here 180, 180, you can see that now they are going inside, right? So if we change the location of the sparks, maybe a little bit further in, or I mean further out, it, it, it can look awesome. This 180 looks fine too. So it is up to you to, yeah, that breaks. It is up to you to experiment, right? This is looking fine. So if you can see on the elemental sword trail, there are like three, uh, three particle systems. I'm going to add one more, and then it is up to you to add the rest, or add however you want it, right? Maybe you maybe you like it like this. Or maybe you just want this one to appear. Right? No, no, I don't want that one. I want the inner. Right, it's it is up to you. Um I'm gonna show you one more quick thing about this. Uh, for example, or actually two more things. Let's go back to the skeleton and let's create two more sockets. So add socket and add socket. Two more. First, let's take the... Okay, the idea is that we have a base, we have a tip. I want to create another bone that goes a little bit further and another bone that goes over here. So first, let's create, uh, let's um, copy the location from this one over here, and let's make it. Let's just um, bring it way over here, just so you can see the things that you can do, right? 
since you have three trails you can experiment a lot of things so it is this, for the sake of showing you let's just put it a little bigger all right okay this one is going to be test uh, X tip. it's an extreme tip and the other one is going to be let's just copy from the base and this one let's just what if we put it over here It's really fine, I think. Okay, and this is test alternative. Let's just play around. So let's change back to the elemental main here, to the main trail. And just to make this a, a little bit more visible, I'm going to take away this elemental spark. No more sparks. Okay, so we add a new one. We can uh, right click on the trail, copy it, right click here, paste it. There we go. And this is uh, twice the same trail, right? So let's change this to from test from the spark to the new one to the tip test x tip yeah this is too much <laughs> uh, so maybe it is test test tip from this one yeah so you can start seeing what I'm trying to show you right this is now up to you to to modify it but this is main too, we don't want main, we want inner what? <laughs> you completely broke it seems like that oh test tip okay uh, so yeah, you get the idea right? and I wanted to show you one more thing which is again we copy this copy paste and over here we will put the other one the outer although I, 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 I think we should, we should turn the the trails around okay so this one I want it to be test base and this one test altern. Okay, so I, I want to show you what's going on here. We make it slow. The altern is creating a different depth for our trail, right? Depending on how we put it, you can see that it is creating a, a new depth, right? Maybe we, we, we need to put it a little, a, little, a little bit higher or maybe we need to create another another socket add socket and this is test spark b2 whatever you want so we copy this spark location copy paste and this one we put it over here we go over here And this one is going to be. Oh, I mix them up. Okay, so this is Altern. And this is Spark V2. Let's see how that looks. Should look funny. Yeah, that is exactly it. So you, you can see it has a, a different kind of depth now, right? Maybe if you make it a little upwards it could look even better yeah 
you can proceed. So I wanted to sh just show you that. That is how you set up the VFX trails. And uh, if you just want to make things simple, you don't need any of these, right? You don't need any of these. You just need your, your spark. Hold on. You just need your spark and your main trail. If you want to make it fancier, you can do that too. It is completely up to you. Just showing you all the things you can do, right? With uh, with these several trails that come each um, each type of trail, right? Okay, so that's it. Now you know that you can create sockets for your bones, and you can um, join them with this trail, right? And remember that these sparks are always going to be time particle effect and the trails are going to be trail, right? Otherwise they are they are they won't work. That's it. Thank you for buying the package and I hope you enjoy it.